It's the radio segment that came up with a new weight loss idea, and they're trying to get it published. Mm. It's called the food poisoning diet. Oh, God. Where you no. only eat raw meat and uncooked Ew. shellfish. So far, Vanity Fair said no. Uh-huh. Men's Health said no. Yeah. Goop said it's already on their holiday wish list. That I'm checks sure out. Is. That actually works. It's laser stories. <laughs> the segment where we read weird news stories around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser. And those are the road trip. Just don't. This first laser story is out of the United Kingdom. A 26-year-old named Andrea Russett's going viral after she figured out a sneaky way to make sure her ex would constantly think about her. What? <laughs> her video explaining her devious plans garnered tens of thousands of views. And so what did she do? Andrea paid $1,000 to Ooh. have a picture of herself promoted on Instagram <gasps> directly to her ex's demographic. That way he'd <laughs> have to constantly see her face. Yeah. 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 So petty. Oh my God. It makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, but God, you have to pick the right photo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. People online immediately applauded her, saying it was the best <laughs> revenge ever, oh. with some even saying they'd actually come across her paid selfie ad. Hooray! Oh <laughs> People saw it for real? Yep. Her video clip is all part of a new trend. In which people share their past toxic relationship habits to the tune of Patsy Cline's Crazy. Oh my god, I've oh, seen yes. this on TikTok and I'm like, Same. you should not be admitting that. Oh, yeah. see, I like, love them. I love them. They're so crazy. Yeah. Another one that was trending was a woman who said she found out her boyfriend cheated, so she bought $30 worth of $1 instant mashed potatoes. Okay. And she sprinkled them in his yard at night as it rained and watched as his yard became a giant potato pit. So I've done this. <laughs> Actually, no, it doesn't the water has to be boiling? Uh, I uh, tried it on someone once. Wow. She was lying on her TikTok. <laughs> yes, she was. Yeah. I saw no, that. There's no one oh. concerned that Alexis is admitting <laughs> to being crazy. No, uh, I I am. I thought okay. it would be fun. <laughs> Brooke's like, you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't work anyways. Yeah. They just got piles of like dry potatoes. Yeah, yeah, but now you know how to do it. And it just washed away. <laughs> this is yeah. why you need to read the instructions on these packages of food, Alexis. Whatever. One time it's gonna help you. <laughs> this next laser story is out of Kids Do the Darndest Thing. Headquarters. A couple in England Aww. recently found out their two sons were pulling a fast one to get more cell phone time. Their stepbrothers, both 14 years old, and their parents recently added a new rule no phones after 9 p.m. Boo! Uh, that seems reasonable. <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> yeah. They didn't like the idea, obviously. Yeah. So they came up with a plan to trick their parents by making fake cell phones that they could use as stand ins. What? What do you mean? What? They printed two pictures of an iPhone, Okay. cut the pictures out, taped each one inside a cell phone case, <laughs> and stuffed some paper in there to get the weight right. And oh they pretended God. that was their phone. Uh, and they just like, they just put it on the stand or the charger, and then the mom would walk by and think it's the real thing? No, they handed them over at 9 o'clock oh. to their parents and said they wouldn't use them anymore. And then they ran back to their room to use their real phones. Yeah. How dumb are they? Did this actually work? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> wow. Yes, yeah, baby. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay, I should say it worked for a few hours. Uh, okay. Their parents I mean, thought it was a little bit weird that they just handed them over without an argument. Right. I was, I was thinking, of like, did they do an acting job? Were they yeah. like, darn it, mom. Yeah. Okay. But that's what gave it away, Here not the go. paper. Well, later that night, the mom noticed a small piece of tape sticking out of one of the cases and realized what they did. <laughs> So she was impressed, yeah. and she didn't even get mad, but now she does double-check every time uh, to make sure. Yeah. Now oh. they've got the tape taken away from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this next laser story is out of jolly old England. All right. Have you ever done something dumb while you were drunk, but the story was worth it? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, I feel like I have, but I was so drunk I don't remember it. Oh, that's <laughs> too bad. <laughs> A 32-year-old named Kaylee Williams is trying to track down a random guy named Daniel Ford. And it's for a good reason. Okay. Ten years ago, she got his name tattooed on her rear end. (gasps) Whoa. On your butt? That, yep. Oh my god, that's, that's so... What, rear what tattoo is. artist would agree to do that for her? Well, maybe the funniest part of the story is that they never dated or even hooked up. No. Back in 2012, she was on vacation with her friends in Mallorca off the coast of Spain. Yeah. And they'd been drinking and met a group of guys at a tattoo shop who were all dressed as babies. <laughs> One of them was a guy named Daniel Ford who no. dared her to get his name inked on her backside. Oh. And he also offered to pay for the tattoo. So oh. she went for it. Ain't 
I got time for that? I mean, a at free least, cat, sure. At yes. least she didn't pay to do it, I guess. Yeah. And that's the last time she ever saw him. Oh. <laughs> she was yeah. even dating someone else back then, and when oh. she showed her boyfriend the tattoo, he thought it was funny. That's interesting. <laughs> well, that sounds like... like a match made in heaven. <laughs> I mean, it must be a nice butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, nah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not clear if she's single now or if Daniel is, but she just knows that he lived in Wales back then, but she hasn't had any luck in finding him on Facebook or Instagram. So she's oh. hoping the story goes viral so that she can finally find the love of her butt. The love <laughs> of her butt. <laughs> this next laser story is out of Motormouth Central. There's a popular jobs website that just did an extensive survey to find the best career for people who love to hear themselves talk. You like me right now. Aren't we doing you like me? Oh, she's still going. Sorry. Aren't, aren't we doing that job right now? Bro, oh. can't wait to hear yourself talk. Yeah. yeah. Stop the audio clip. I want to say yeah. something. <laughs> Number five was news anchor or radio DJ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, Dude, there's there's four places ahead of us? Bro, I'm going to be the worst because comedian is probably on this list, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm two of those. Number four has the highest average salary on the list, and that would be a professor. Uh, oh, they oh. do. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Professors at big universities make at least 140 grand a year. Oh, wow. that's pretty good. Nice. I mean, they usually that's have really to have... good. What do you mean pretty good? Well, they have to have like PhDs and stuff, you know? Like, yeah. it... Brooke is just so rich. I know. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's, that's, that's respectable. Yeah, I make that every time. Are you sure you could get that by on that salary? Of... <laughs> say that's a lot of school loans that you're paying off like you're not actually making a ton of money until you're old that's a good point yeah number three is a counselor or psychologist Ah. aren't they supposed to listen yeah Yeah. i was gonna say (laughs) i don't think they're doing the best job if you're talking the entire time through somebody else's therapy (laughs) session number two is telemarketer those jobs don't always pay well though so you've really got to love talking to people oh man and love getting cussed out and hung up on yeah totally finally the number one job for people who love to hear themselves talk is fitness instructor. Uh, <laughs> and they like to look at themselves, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, like your, your spin captain who yells at you to keep you motivated. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, you know, since I've had this Peloton bike, those Peloton instructors just love it. Like, they are having such a good time all alone by it, themselves. It's a talent to be <laughs> able to talk it's that crazy. much. It's crazy. A is. few more that ranked high are hairstylist, interpreter, oh. and motivational speaker. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. That makes yeah, sense. Those We're are lucky all... that we have one person on the team that qualifies as a motivational leader. Who's that? Oh. Maybe oh. you've attended one of his seminars called How to Mount Your Fears. Ah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Worth every that penny. Yeah. <laughs> and that sound means Laser Stories has come to an end for the day. But I feel motivated by it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it again, same oh, time. Oh, keep talking. I want to hear myself. <laughs> 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 we're done. All we're right. done. Now we're done. Good.